Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here once again in Old World Blues, playing as, of course, the White Legs. Last time, we were basically cucked out of trying to take Grabber territory. Not cool. But, uh, we're justifying on them anyways, but it'll take like 150-ish days, so we've got some time until we can go to war with them, which is a good thing, because our divisions, while they're not the best, they will be better than whatever divisions they have from the Grabber territory. That being said, the biggest problem with the White Legs, at least in the beginning, is that they have like almost no manpower. They have very, very little. And also, I do want to go to war with the Timekeepers by the end of this episode as well. I will probably try to push to go to war with them pretty much as, fa as, as fast as possible. <clears throat> now I know that these aren't mutually exclusive, these paths. The New God for Utah, Mormon Slaves, Strong Arms for the White Legs, but... It just seems a bit odd that you already have all three options. I don't know. It makes sense. It really does make sense, so. I do want to get to clock watching. Grant the time legs. The white legs claims and war goal against the timekeepers core territories. New Canaan doesn't like that. Whatever. Uh, the cl a clocked. A stopped clock is still right twice. More democracy, support, and stability. This is for Kaisar. A double research bonus for infantry equipment. And then break the clock. I think I might just break the clock. And I do want to go to war with the Tar Walkers as well. That would be good to do. So, it's going to take time. It's definitely going to take quite a bit of time to get down here. So, in the beginning there was a word. More research speed is pretty good. Ooh, seed selection. Awesome. Give me as much population as possible because I have to have that. And construction speed is nice. But really it's all about output just because, well, we can't really build much at the, in the moment. Uh-oh. What's this? Ah, uh, yes. We get more money. Good. And I'm going to get more slaves. Good. I love the slaves. Ooh. Petition for followers technology. That's not bad. Ask the followers to help settlements. More monthly population and a civilian workshop. I like that. Happy 2276, by the way, guys. Get another building slot and some water. We're okay on resources for now. We don't. We almost have none. But we're okay with what we have. That being said, I need to save up some, some political power for me to eventually go to able-bodied tribesmen, because I will definitely, definitely need more manpower. And I have a little bit of white leg coffee here, too. So, I do want to go get a little bit more political power, but that could probably wait. We have other things that we could do. I really want to see how much the followers of the apocalypse will really hurt us, as well as benefit us, because I like that. That's, a, that's actually a really good thing. It only costs us 20 political power for you know, 100 days of plus 20% monthly population, that's not much, but we still get a civilian workshop out of that. Right now, civilian population, we get about 9 a month for a monthly growth in states. It's not great. 86 for civilian. If I click on this, let's see how much we get. One more, and about 13 more civilians. That's not terrible. For 100 days, that's not bad. Then we get a civilian workshop as well. Not bad. Could be much worse. Uh, hygiene... Prioritize living standards. Ooh, forging. Awesome. Now, we are going asymmetrical or asymmetric warfare. I could go down the left, but that hurts our population already, and I can't really hurt my population. I will definitely go with Wasteland Tactics. That'll be better. Oh, we need to make some special forces as well. More breakthrough. That'd be good. Uh, I, I need more breakthrough. I definitely, definitely need more breakthrough. Let's do that next. Awesome. And we have the God of Salt almost done. Hmm, gotta love my coffee. Cool. God of Salt. I definitely want to go down here. So it requires arm shipments. Uh, in honor of the gods. There was a word. Oh, that one. So we gotta get, go down here. And it complete either the Skyfather or the God of the Lake. I do want to do slave raids. That sounds like fun. I love slaves. Because we only have 106. I'd like more, please. Gods of the Lake, which makes New Canaan hate us more... Or the Skyfather, which gives us more recovery rate and division attack. I love the attack. I love it so much. Yeah, I really want to see... Because the followers of the Apocalypse, they hurt our political power and war support, but they give us more research speed, which is something we could really use as a tribal nation. And a little bit more stability. And more monthly population. So, overall, I think that's pretty good. Could be, of course, better, but that's not bad. And <clears throat> Cam's band, well... I'm not saying we won't... Always ban chems, but uh, he's salt upon the wounds. Maybe we'll become drugs upon wounds someday. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Scourge traders, bottle cap. We could go with a denarius. 
Yeah, or the NCR dollar, but we'll see what happens. Major businesses, I'm I'm glad that they actually updated this. I've been complaining about this for a while, that all the, like, the businesses, or I guess really economic policies, or companies, really companies, they were all the same for every single nation, and it was really kind of annoying seeing that, hey, it's all the same, but now it's all different, and I like it. Oh, more stability, that's kind of nice. It's a golden gecko. Um, economic advisors, cap, or base and growth, that's not bad. Scoundrel trade laws. Um, that's not bad either. Not terrible. Consumer good, that's pretty good. Hmm, it's not bad. Local leaders. I definitely, if I can, eventually go to military academy officers. That sounds pretty good to me. I could do this, but it would be kind of a waste right now. I do want to go get better wasteland survival training. Just by world goals times, goes down by 5%, which could help us quite a bit. Military academy training would be good as well. That'd actually be really, really good to do. Outside volunteers. I need as many volunteers as possible. So, this hurts our stability though. And planning speed, which I really don't care about. Military high command. More monthly population. Less supply consumption and out of supply. More attack, but less defense. Hmm. Right now, I'm all about that population. I need more, 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 more. Justify world goes down, goes down by 10%, or more defense on core territory. Well, what do I have here? I could buy more slaves, but then we won't have that. We also have quite a bit of caps. Um, you know what? I I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens if I get their agricultural exports. But we don't need that immediately. God dang it. It's so hard to choose what exactly I should do. Mm, high command, attack, monthly population. I love monthly population, though. Oh, wait. I can change this. Organized slavery. I can't outlaw slavery yet. But why would we want to? We rely on slaves. Well, slavers of the way sounds like fun. You know what? Just give me more time. I know I said I wouldn't, I didn't want to do this, but just give me more political power. It's not very much at all. It's really not very much at all. But at least we get 1.89. That's roughly two a day. That's not bad. And with two a day almost, then I can just get more interaction with the followers, which I kind of like. Oh, and I still can't buy guns, I think. Yeah, I still can't buy guns. I mean, I have the money for it. Current net. Actually, how do they calculate this? Current income. Grows quarterly. Current expenses because of, you know, my divisions. Uh, is it because of the slaves I own? Because I'll, 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 buy, I'll buy more slaves, yeah. You know what? Give me more slaves. And you know what? If, you, if we can, arm the slaves. Like, <laughs> and make sure they don't kill us, though. Like... I need more soldiers. I need a lot of soldiers. Good, 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 good. Let's see, how strong are these guys? They don't have any... As long as they have no demo companies or demo battalions on them, we should be okay trying to attack them. Yeah, we only have eight divisions. I might pull these soldiers off as well, just so we can concentrate more forces, so I can expand our military capabilities quite a bit. They have more manpower than us, which is okay. Oh, the Skyfather, awesome. Oh, that's fast. Brotherhood of Seal. Okay, well, whatever. And Honor of the Gods. <clears throat> and we get 500 more manpower, which is good. We do not need the Angel Moroni or the Cult of Mars. We stick to the great old ones who saw us through the harrowing. Absolutely. 60 days. Wow, that's a, kind of a long time, don't you think? Awesome. Now, I'm going to start cutting down on the number of divisions I make, which I only make two at a time. Just because I need to save my manpower so I can throw on some demo companies on my big boys. These are the super mutants, which I'm going to use to create effect when attacking these guys. And I'm really glad I went with super mutants, because they're pretty strong. They have about the same defense, a little more breakthrough, a little more soft attack. Uh, they have more HP, and they cost pretty much the same. So overall, these are better. But demo companies, 12 more soft attack. That would be great. Uh, it does lower the organization by a wee bit. Oh, actually by 9. That's actually quite a bit. That's quite a bit of organization loss. If that's the case, throw on a demo, demo company here first. I might make this only have one demo company or demo battalion, maybe. Depending on the situation. The infantry, though, definitely stock them up with more demo companies. But that's why I'm training these guys. They need to train so that we have enough army XP. And we have another 100 political power. Great. Mm. Now for more indecision. Can I get more stability? Is there anything way I can get more stability right now? 
I could lose the ability for more weekly war support. That actually might not be bad. Uh, but I don't have enough army XP to do that. You know what? That costs 30. Let, let me grab economic policies. Uh, how many things? Only three? If I get five, minus 5% 5 more, we might only get one more factory. That's not really worth it. Uh, local leaders. I want to keep as much political power as I can for now. Keep that on. Super mutant recruitment. Recruit all mutants. We get more out of supply cost and less stability, but more war support, which is nice. More recovery rate. Less supply consumption. I kind of like that. And better reinforce rate. I'm, I'll switch to that eventually. Oh, Raider Conscripts. Less organization. More recruitable population. Less stability. More war support. Even more war support. Less stability. Less division organization. And even more recruitable population factor. Homicidal Conscripts. No undesirables. Well, can't exactly say that for now. I gotta save stuff. Major businesses. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, demo company research time. God dang it. It's so hard to choose. There's so many things I want to do. Oh. I like that. Build, 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 build if you can. And we're about to get paid. Good. Thank God. I need more slaves. So that should help us just a wee bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit to build some more civilian factories. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. We're doing well on supplies. I I do want to consider building up some support equipment. So go ahead and do that for now. I want to make a little reserve of that. Scavenge tools. Awesome. Washington Brotherhood declared we're important. Ma. Get some more construction speed. And then I'll probably go for some more research speed. Kaiser Legion declared we're on two suns. Playing as the White Legs. You're, oh. The Gods of the Sky. Very nice. Yeah. It's kind of a little slow going for now. Just because we were, like I said, in the beginning. Oh. We weren't really ready to go. Oh, how close are we getting? Oh, I might wait oh, just a little bit until June, just because I want to get five army XP, and then throw on some more, at least one more thing of demo companies on our soldiers. All right, good. Stop. Well, I could throw on one more super mutant group here. You you, you do get almost five more soft attack here. You get twelve. But that hurts your organization. We've already hurt our organization just a little bit. And the super mutants are the ones that are going to be leading the charge. Now, this might be a bad idea. They might not be able to... Oh, this gives you more demo breakthrough, though. Ooh. Costs the same amount of manpower, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, give me more organization HP. Oh, I can't... Oh, these are special... Super mutants, super mutants are special forces? What? Since when? So be it. Demo companies it is. And we still we only use 50. Nice. Alright, and stop training. Get ready to go, guys. You know what? I'm going to swap around some soldiers here. Come over here. I'm going to need you to help bolster the line. Actually, I, I might need a little bit more. Go ahead. Make the line huge. And I need to save up my political power just a little bit. So that I can raise my conscription level from veteran pathfinders to able-bodied tribesmen. Still so only get 9 a month. Civilian, 87. Not much. Not very much. And honor the gods. And we get a little bit of manpower from that, too. Cool. Ah, the Red Breakers was annexed. The Troll Warren is getting... Eh, pretty normal. Pretty normal sized. Come on. And how strong are these guys? We got local workspaces. They have forced labor. They have up to 12 divisions. They have way more manpower than me, and that's okay. Let's get some more research speed going. That would be... Great. You guys are looking okay. And just give me like three more days, maybe. Maybe three more days so I can get some more political power or so I get some more manpower after that. So let's do clock watching. So lately you've been running out of time, aren't you? Crazy for running all the time, maybe. Never forget you're running out of time. Take 60 days to do that. That's okay with me. Three, two, Ooh, purchase more slaves. One, oh, request followers aid. Medical technology, nice. If I use these more, they'll probably get more influence, which hurts us more. Awesome. Let's go ahead. They're not attacking us, which is fine with me. Um. Oh, man. The super mutants are really spread out. I don't like that. So, take you off. Attack. Oh, you might... Oh, no. That's not a good area for you to attack. Uh, five divisions should be able to win against two. Should. They might. They might not. Cool. Give me all but one. You guys attack as well. All but one. Attack. And immediately raise our... Oh, we need 150 political power. Whoopsie. Didn't realize that. Good. We should be winning. Overall, looks like we are, which is good. Which is very good. 
Oh, look at that. More manpower. I love it. Good. You guys should be able to win as well. If they want to move, I'm okay with that. Just make sure that they are they know their place. Awesome. I love the super mutants. Ooh. Send you that way immediately. And then send one division to help out down here. You guys have... You're alright. You're not great. Oh, they decided to stockpile someone there. That's okay. And there goes the NCR. They're being very violent. Pretty normal. Pretty darn normal. Cool. Port Mall was annexed. Vipers were annexed. Oh, God, everyone seems like they're getting annexed now. Cool. Attack here. Keep grinding for a little bit more army XP. Three area. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. What's going on? Okay. I'm always going to keep thinking that we have a problem here, but just the income report. Ooh, any more manpower. I lose organization for more weekly war support. That's not great. But we do have an upgrade for Bloody Anteater. Rooted for more entrenchment speed, max entrenchment, power armor attack and speed, out of supply, or bloody mess. Ooh, yeah, no. I would prefer infantry expert, but we don't have that anymore. We don't believe in infantry experts. Good. Keep attacking somewhere. Uh, mutants, you help attack, you help attack, and then you help attack as well. They shouldn't be able to give you too much trouble. If this is the case, I don't mind throwing on another thing of... Oh, not you. Oh, I guess we have enough divisions to do that, finally. Demo companies. I want our soldiers to make our enemies go kaboom. And we will attack here next, probably. Oh, or not. Or not. Or not. Good. Do that. Do that. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, so they're kind of injured right now, so teach them what they should do when they're injured. Yeah, that's right, everyone. Die! Good. Slowly but surely, we're coming in. I want to make an encirclement here, though. So let's let, let our divisions get organized. Let's go ahead and grab some more able-bodied tribesmen. Yes, that gives us negative... Uh, it gives us penalties, I should say. Not negative penalties, but just penalties. We get more soft attack and entrenchment. I don't want to lose any manpower, so we're going to move Wasteland Tactics for more recovery rate... Less division attrition, more reinforce rate, and some more special forces capacity multiplier. Awesome. Good. You help attack. You immediately attack as well. And then send me one more division. I'm going to circle the city. Good. Awesome. We have almost a full army stack. 23 divisions. Not bad for a small tribal nation. Um, When I get rid of these guys, can I take them as slaves? That would actually be really cool if I can take these guys as slaves. Oh, good. They're encircled. Good. Attack immediately. Put a lot of firepower down the range. You're getting attacked quite a bit. They shouldn't be... Oh, actually. This, this, it's kind of a supply area, but... Oh, we're running out of supply as well. Um, It's not their capital, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Up attack. Send the super mutants in. Send one division from here as well. That'd be good. Send one division as two. There you go. Super mutants lead the way. Let everyone get organized. You potentially have the capabilities of attacking like crazy, but I'm just going to do this and then go right ahead. You should be able to win. I feel confident enough that they should be able to win, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I should have used salt upon wounds, but whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gunslinger, division defense, attack. I'm going to go with commando. Maybe ninja too. But they have no recon. Clock watching, very good. And then we'll go with the burning tar, because we want to go take them out as soon as possible. I'm not sure why the tar walkers stomp all over that stuff. As they will shortly find out, it's rather flammable. Yes, tar walkers. If I, if I can take out the tar walkers, that would be amazing. Canyon warfare. Oh, they have followers of the apocalypse rejected. They get less stability, more war support. Ah, uh, you should have chosen the tar walkers. Oh wait, they have the they chose them. And oh. Followers spreading. That does not look good. Jeremiah Rigdon does not look good whatsoever. Holy cow. Mm. Less research speed for more weekly stability. That sounds like a good thing to do. Let's do that. Militarized society. Less stability for more war support. Well, that's okay-ish. Oh, we could do such a good thing if we can attack across the line here. Do a small little encirclement of whatever divisions down here for now. Ooh, another division? Sure. Uh, let's wrap up this first, and then we'll go to war with the time keepers.
Uh, if you guys could, like, break across... Hold on. Come here. Break across there. That'd be great. Oh, more factories. Nice. Start building up some more of this. Troll war and art war again. Ah, song from the front. Forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We can play this with the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Make sure everyone listens, which is good. I'd rather listen to the ink spots. Political power is nice, but I already make enough, so... Uh, yes, rally around the cause, everyone. Rally around the campfire. I'll sing you a campfire song. Awesome. Come on, take them out and circle. Come on, come on, kill them. Go, 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 before they can come over here. Come on, you have legs, you're white legs. You can move faster than that, right? Awesome, two divisions, go bye-bye. How many have we killed? We've lost about 27 versus 1,000. Pretty good so far. I'd say that's pretty darn decent. Now go crazy. Show them that we are the warriors of the waste. And see declare war on the scorpions. Things are moving pretty quickly around here. Do we have a... Timekeeper's good. We have a little bit more money. I don't want to keep spending money on slaves, but... uh, Sounds like fun. And every 200 slaves, this perk becomes more valuable. That sounds like a lot of fun. And Anteater here is becoming more and more experienced, which is really nice. Ah, but so is Great Mother Dar. She likes her chems, but... Oh, she's also intelligent. Huh. She's a hoarder, which is good for logistics. Ninja. More attack across the board sounds really good. Division attack or territory. Nimble leader, I don't like that. Heavyweight, tank, stuff. Division, infantry division attack and defense. I might just do light touch, that might be better. Because 3% attack is okay. But if you get 3% attack... Oh, Seth, Seraph Lord, who the heck is that? I mean, yeah, it's a just general attack. That's not infantry attack and defense. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Recovery rate, recovery rate's not too bad to get either. Planning, planning speed. I'll just go with infantry stuff. Because that's ex pretty much the main thing that she's going to be using anyways. It's only 3%, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Ninja, good. Arroyo is annexed. Goodbye, Arroyo. The Seraph Lords, the... You are the Bone Pickers, I think? Who are you? Kane? Kane? Nice. Thank you, Ripe World Territory, for de destroying the Grabber Territory. Ah, uh, now the White Legs have definitely expanded to become quite a large force in the Wasteland. Good. More support companies for now. Now, I'm going to transfer like half of you guys back to Salt Upon Wounds, because I want you both to become very strong. Fifteen... Make it like that. Now, everyone, we are going to go to war with these guys, and then immediately go to war with the Torah Walkers. Seraphlords. Cain? Where is Abel? They... Oh, they have the followers. The Seraph Lords? Widespread cannibalism? They're cannibalistic crusaders, maybe? Odysseus King? Seraph Pilgrims? Well, let's do the that one first. Better reinforce rate. Sounds good to me. And we're about to get more money. Good. Good. Uh, technology, agriculture, followers, um, cultural advisors. More war sports always sounds good to me. Just fight war goals times on us is not really worth it. Uh, vehicles, I'm not using vehicles. Naval stuff, I'm not using that. Aircraft, I'm not even using that either. Uh, we're currently fighting, or we will be fighting soon. Supply consumption. Monthly population probably isn't really worth it. But let's do it anyways. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks so good. Kane. Where's Abel? Ooh, cracking dogs. Yeah, I'll get more out, but yeah, I like that. The Seraph Lords. Oh my goodness. Striking at the source. A tattered mantle of the Crimson Force. Holding down the fort. Old rivals. The Shoshone disagree. Listen to the pilgrims. Hail, hail to the king. What the? Ancient traditions. Fire walk, walk with me. Crossing through the steam, singing to machine, secret to the gate, striking at the source, coming of the seraphs. Communion achieved. Excommunication. Oh my god. I have to play as these guys. They can become advanced too by taking that by taking their steam stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to play so many nations. Dog dog technology, travel to Ooh, actually that's not bad. Travel technology? Your Deyaipi, the White Legs, excel at melee combat and have no problem crushing their enemies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now give me more money. 1.91 political power. Good. Ruby Valley Refuge is annexed. Awesome. 
The white legs we have now, 22 factories, not bad whatsoever. Go ahead and start repairing all this stuff, though. That's important. And we have a full 24 divisions. Glorious. We're still mobilizing, which is good, because we definitely need it. And we are going to have to make sure that we attack appropriately. So, don't take the infantry divisions. Take the super mutants and attack them. How strong are these guys? I didn't even check. 77. Oh, they got about the same amount of manpower. They definitely have less divisions, though, which is good. Uh, I probably should have waited to do this. But can I throw in one more super mutant? I want them to have more organization. No, we can't. God dang it. So, White Legs Warbands. Um, infantry for more organization. Let's do that first. That's pretty good to do. That Oh god, that hurt our manpower like crazy. Holy cow. You should be able to win there if you have enough divisions attacking. Should be able to, especially if we have enough guns. Timekeeper Ian. Alright, yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Oh, we're out of manpower. God dang it. This is the problem playing as, as this nation. Manpower is going to be a massive issue. But we do have 184 slaves. And in 15 days, we'll we get some sort of perk or something up here. Oh, you got injured. That's not good. You attack here with you guys. You should be able to win, maybe, with demo, demo companies. Should be able to. Take you and attack here as well. Awesome. Let you guys get more situated first. And, oh, you are suffering from supply issues. And one of you guys will hold. Awesome. They should not be able to stand up to us very much. After the Moab Brigade, you want to come this way, and then you want to come this way, and then you want to go that way. Cut them off. Take supply bases. You know, just normal stuff. I definitely want medical chem companies, so... Uh, I'm going to get their aid. That's pretty good. Does this increase their influence? Not yet, which is good. Bone breakers, awesome. Hmm, they're attacking us immediately. Oh, they have robots. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I didn't realize they had that. Ooh, we can make a potential encirclement around here, too. I want you to be careful when you attack. Be careful. Only attack if you feel that it's an appropriate thing to do. Mobilize the people. Less stability for more war support. Or just lose organization for more war support. That's not terrible. Come on, encircle, destroy. Ooh, you're not winning there. That's not good. You, though, can come right there. You hold these guys in place. Cut these guys off. You guys sh 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 might be able to win if you help attack that way. Good, you're still winning here. Awesome. Good, you cut him off. No, I want you right there. Good, hold. They should be able to win. They're encircled. Awesome. This is very thin. Very thin line. Very, very thin line. Really is an ideal. Good. We took away their supply. These guys are surrounded. We've lost about 220 guys, which isn't ideal, but whatever. Whatever. And attack. Help just help destroy these guys for now. Forgers, awesome to Ooh, getting pushed back. Ooh, do not get encircled there. Go ahead and hold. You guys come this way. Awesome factories. Maybe it needs some more dynamite. Not really. Um... Well, these never go out of style, so we'll do that. War Chief Thunder justify War Goes Times. Navy. High Command. More attack, less defense. Oh, actually. That's 20% more attack. If I can get more defense from something else, that'd be worth it. Ooh, let's apply out of consumption stuff. Shaman. Does anything give me more defense? Because I'll take it if it gives me more defense. Economic advisors. Consumer goods. Hmm, discouraged traders. That's okay. Look, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's get a little bit more organization. And we almost have the bone breakers. Awesome. Now, reject the Legion's coins. More money. Welcome the traders. Sell animal skins. Oh, let's do this. We get more guns. Which really does... We don't... 
really need that though. Guns of the South. With closer ties to the Legion, the workshops of an empire begin to open up to us. Absolutely, positively. Go ahead and stop attacking. Please do not attack anymore. I don't want these guys done and dusted with. Oh, there goes the Legion. Awesome. Kill these three divisions off, please. Thank you. Oh, we left open a hole there. That's not ideal. And they're dead. They are dead. Vault 24 will be ours soon enough. They are only defending down here, but they're not doing anything else. Which is good. Yeah, just distract them in the south. That's... Oh, we're getting attacked. That's okay. You guys can hold. And it's... They're ours. Beautiful. Not bad. We lost quite a few guys, but... The White Legs, I mean, we might be considered a regional power sometime soon. But before I end the episode, I do want to finish this last focus. And do the next one with... Break the Clock. We get more resources. New Kingdom won't like that. I don't really care. And... Yeah, pretty much. The clock chimes at midnight. Ooh, Vault 24 becomes a core of us. I will go to war with the Tarwalkers extremely soon, though. Ooh, this is not good. We gotta break these guys up. So, you guys, you seven, will probably station be stationed right somewhere here. That'd be fine. Keep all seven of you guys there. Uh, we gotta divide these up, uh, guys up a, a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that, and we will build up these factories once again. Let time go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is good down there. Let our guys get organized. We have claims on their territory. They're stewards of the land. They don't have a lot of population. Which is good. We're about to get paid in about 30 days. We have enough money. We have over 254 slaves, but what does that do? So there goes the scorpions. Like, does that boost our industry? Does that help our population? I mean, I'm, I can left and right click on it, but it doesn't do anything. We have wasteland knowledge, which is, which is good. Let us grab wasteland intuition for more recovery rate reconnaissance. Which is really good. And that type of stuff. 304 factories. Ooh. Look at that. Their opinion. 990. 990. Still can't buy stuff from them, which is fine. I don't really care. Uh, so, oh, yes. I want even more. Ah, this is. I'm being greedy about it. But whatever. Immediately go to war with these guys. They don't have that many divisions. And I don't know how long it's going to take until we they join the, you know... Mormon Alliance. I'm a little concerned about that, so do that. We're spread out down here just a wee bit. If you guys could. Ooh, a little bit of lag, that's okay. Um Do this area first. You can stop attacking. Smoke signals, good. Let's grab some decode signals. I'm not gonna attack here just yet. Tier Teletzol, awesome. You guys should be able to win here, perhaps. Good. And I want you guys to immediately move. Yeah. Just move up that way. Then we'll encircle these two divisions and destroy them. We're almost broken across into their own territory. Good. Uh, and we will attack them very soon. Right there. You guys come over here. That'd be great. Come on. Destroy them. And they are almost encircled. Begin attacking. Awesome. Send me happy, you guys. Attack right there. There you go. That's all you really need. And send me one guy, too. Good. Good. We took that tile. Um, you guys can attack here. You guys can attack right here. And they've... They're leaving for some reason. Get new Nephi. We definitely want new Nephi. They might just capitulate after we kill that division off. Uh, 75 losses, 200 losses for them. Good stuff, good stuff. We have a lot of army XP now. That's really nice. Holy cow. That's really, really nice. Are we getting attacked or something? Good. Go to go up that way. Nope, we took new Nephi. And I do want to finish up one more focus. Get that one done. Decode signals, awesome. Grab a encryption, and I will focus on medical com companies soon enough. You guys come down there. Uh, you guys attack that way. Send half of you guys this way to help out. Good stuff. 
You know what? What if I just told you to move for now, maybe? That might be okay. We want this tile as well. You guys, I'm not going to tell you to do whatever you want to do. That's a bad idea. Ooh, Guns of the South. Awesome. Cool. So, let's end the episode with us breaking the clock. As we break their idol into base metals, as we burn their sacred books upon the bonfire, salt upon wounds must laugh. Who's now who's the savage? And that, my friends, will end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We took out Ripe World Territory and the Grabber Territory, of course, their lands. And we took out the Time Lords. And we're now at war with the Tar Walkers, the people who believe in bathe in tar. Bunch of weirdos. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, perhaps leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we finish off the Tar Walkers and continue to perhaps expand. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.